Good evening, good evening. Thankful Thursday, what? How's everybody doing tonight? Thankful Thursday. Grateful, thankful Thursday. Drop them in the comments. What are you guys grateful for? What are you guys thankful for? I want to hear it. Brings up a topic. Been chatting with my sponsor, right? Um, for like the last 10, 15 minutes. And been having a conversation because I've been slacking in my recovery. So I'm telling on myself and it's part of the topic. Um, if you guys seen it when it when it posted on Facebook, it says I know. Everybody's probably scratching their head like, what the hell is I know? What is he talking about? Um I'm gonna read it, first of all, and you guys will get where I'm coming at. Um while I'm reading, drop, uh, there we go. I'm grateful for sleep and my sanity. Amen. Keep dropping those comments and, uh, we'll get back to them here and I'll, I'll, I'll post them up. I'm going to share this, which is the topic I know, and you guys will get a better grasp on where I'm going with this. Uh, let's see, share my screen. Here it says why, and I know. It says I know. I used to think that I had all the answers, but today I'm glad I don't. Amen. What are the two favorite words of most addicts and alcoholics or people that are in recovery in general? It's I know. I know what's best, right? I know what's best for me. I know what's good for me. Um many times have we said that? I know I've said it a lot. Um, I've been saying it all night tonight. Uh, unfortunately, many of us arrive in the room thinking that we have all the answers. We have a lot of knowledge about what's wrong with us. You know, that old stinking thinking, I know what's best for me. But, and, but in and of itself, knowledge never helped us stay clean and sober for any amount of time basically running on self-will is what it's saying. You know, when I knew when I ran on my self-will, um, I broke out in handcuffs. I stayed chronically homeless, jails, institutions. I can go on and on. Uh, my stinking thinking never was good. Um, members who have achieved long-term recovery will be the first to admit that the longer they're here, the more they have to learn. They're remaining teachable. I here. I, <clears throat> my computer locked up. No, it didn't. I'm just fat thumbing the screen. They, we, do not <clears throat> do know one thing. By following a simple 12-step program, if you work one, which hopefully you do, uh, and its principles, they or we have been able to stay clean and sober by just simply working the steps and following the principles in all our affairs, right? Well, that's where... I'm telling on myself um, because I know best, right? Um, I've been too focused lately on working on others or reaching out and helping others, um, being of service, work. And I've lost kind of focus on myself and my personal recovery and my step work. Um, and my sponsor's been on me, and this isn't the first time he's been on me about it. Um, that's the beauty of this program, guys. You know, that's the therapeutic value of one addict helping another. Someone that has achieved the long-term clean time, almost 30 years, uh, coming up, I believe, next month, which I'm super grateful for because I've got an awesome sponsor. You know, he loves and cares about me. And, you know, they see things or sponsors see things in us that we don't may, we may not see in ourselves or um, think is, you know, okay. And it's not okay. Um, and that's what sponsorship or one of the things sponsorship is all about. It says they, we no longer have to ask why we ask how, you know, how do I, how do I fix this? You know, I need help reaching out and asking for help. Well, he's telling me how, um, cause he sees it, you know, and it's not necessarily because I haven't seen it. I do see it. I've just ignored his advice and I'm being honest because I've, I hate doing step work and that's just being honest. Um, and I need to get my ass in gear. So I'm telling on myself and it feels better when I talk about it. 
Um, the value of endless speculation pales in comparison to the existence of addicts who have found a way to stay clean and live clean. That lived experience. He is sharing his lived experience, strength, and hope with me. And it's a choice whether I listen to it or not. And whether he knows it or not, and hopefully he's listening to this right now, and he may not because he might be pissed at me. Um, he has every right to be. Um, but he loves me and he cares about me, and that's why he's being stern with me. Um, and that's what sponsorship's all about, man. It's not about being a friend, which he is to me. He's a dear friend. Um, but he's, he's looking out for my best interest. Why does, or says, why doesn't, why doesn't, uh, why don't we mean, uh, this doesn't mean that we have to ask why when it's appropriate, we don't come to in recovery and stop thinking yet in the beginning, it's often good. It's a good idea to reword our questions. You know, instead of asking why we ask how, um, and that's what he's teaching me, he's teaching me how. Um, how do I work the steps? Well, first of all, I got to apply myself and put in the work, right? Cause I'm lazy and I hate doing them. Um, that's how they, that's how they get done. I have to apply myself and try something that I preach all the time, guys. How many times have I said, you know, stay vigilant in your recovery and participate in your recovery? Well, I'm eating my own words tonight. You know, I have to practice what I preach, right? I'm not perfect. I make mistakes and this is something that I'm lacking in my recovery right now. Um, how often should I attend meetings daily? Um, that's just me personally. Uh, how do I stay clean? You know, why is Joe so awesome? How'd that get in there? I may have snuck that in there. I'm awesome because I am awesome. Um, I don't have all the answers. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to make you guys laugh. I am pretty awesome. Um, positive affirmations, right? It's always good to say those positive affirmations, but I don't have all the answers guys. And that's why sponsorship and what I've been talking about tonight is so important. You know, I have to listen. I have to remain open-minded and willing and I have to remain teachable and I have to listen. Um, oh, he's going to hate me for saying this. I have to listen to my elders, um, that know what's best. And he really does know what's best, uh, for me and my recovery. Um, cause I don't know it all and I'm not perfect guys. Um, says, so but I do but I know where to find the ones that matter. That's that lived experience. That's the beauty of the WE program, the therapeutic value of one person, one addict, one alcoholic helping another. Today, I will ask someone or a person in recovery for help and reach out. Well, in this case, you know what? I wasn't even the one reaching out. Um, we were just simply communicating on Messenger. And he got on me in Messenger. Um, because I haven't called him recently. We talk a lot, you know, on, on messenger quite a bit, almost daily. Um, and I should pick up the phone more and have that more personable conversation with him. Um, you know, I'm just being honest with you guys because I'm not perfect and I make mistakes. That's why it's so important. Um, and the beauty of the we program, that therapeutic value, because I need you guys just as much as hopefully I say something that you may need to hear. Or someone that I have on here sharing their experience, strength, and hope may say something that you may need to hear. Um, because it's, it's, I can't do it alone. It's just simply not possible. I've tried time and time again, and it's not possible. Addie, which is sitting next to me, my co-pilot over here, I am grateful for boundaries and detachment and the ability to work on my program and let others work theirs. Um, and that's where I'm struggling at because I'm not working as much on my program as I should be. Um, and I'm grateful for the people that love and care about me to reach out and tell me like, Joe, you know, refocus, bro. Um, and they do. And that's the beauty of this program because I don't take it. I take it to heart. I take it seriously, but I don't get butt hurt. There he is. Mr. Stringfellow, my dude talking about you this whole stream i hope you heard it if you haven't you need to go back and listen to it that's my elder guys that i was talking about i know he's sitting back cringing right now um laughing at me no he's not laughing he loves me he cares about me. um but yeah no i've i i haven't been participating in my personal recovery like i should um and my sponsor called me out on my bullshit you know that's just point blank 
Um, and I have no problem talking about it and being honest with you guys because it's the truth. Um, I haven't. Um, I've been overly focused on my work and I've been overly focused with um, other people's recovery and not my own. And that's just, that's the truth. Um, and I need to refocus and regroup myself and try to find a happy balance. Um, you know, he said something simply as putting in 10, 15 minutes a day. And, and putting the pen to paper and working on it, it's that easy. And it really is that easy. It's a simple program for complicated people. And I'm complicated as fuck, guys. I super, I, I overcomplicate everything. Um, and I need that grounding from time to time. I need that foot in the ass. I know if he wasn't in Tennessee right now, he would have done kicked my ass a couple times. He's bigger than me. Um, I don't know. You might not be able to get his leg up that high. He's getting old. <laughs> I love you, brother. I appreciate it. Come on, I, Mike, Mike, I know you got some gratitude. It's thankful Thursday, man. Drop something in the link. I know you got something to be grateful for. Um, I'm not for sure. Joy, that was Joy. It said Facebook user on my end. Joy said she's grateful for sleep and her sanity. I am super grateful for sleep. Um, and I'm praying that I get some tonight because I haven't the last couple of days, guys. I've been sick. I haven't been feeling good. Um, I've got kind of a tooth abscess side of my face is kind of swollen. I've been in pain. Um, there she is. Awesome. She, let's see, I can see you now. Let's see that. There's your name up there. See what that does. It's amazing. Um, I'm on heavy antibiotics right now. Um, my ear, I've got like an inner ear infection going on and my ears have been ringing really bad and the pressure. It's just been bad. Um, Thank God it's not COVID. I rapid tested yesterday. I'm negative because where I'm working at, it's there. Um, there's people in isolation, so it's a concern. Um, but I'm good. Um, just taking care of myself, you know, self-care. And um, hopefully I start feeling better. These antibiotics take two, three days to get going. But uh, hopefully it'll start kicking in. Let's see, what did we say here, Joy? I've been going through a manic episode and insomnia for five nights. My steroids for sciatic. I feel you. Yeah. It's rough. It's rough. It's not easy. I wish you well, too. Keep coming back. Keep participating in your recovery. I appreciate you guys coming in and listening to the live stream. I really do. I need you guys as much as, you know, <clears throat> hopefully you need something that I may say. Because um, I struggle with that, too. You know, sometimes my depression and my anxiety and my head um, get running and I can't shut it off myself. And I have my highs and lows in the day myself. And that's the beauty of sharing honest with other people uh, and letting them know where you're at. Because um, if you don't share and you don't tell us, we don't know, right? Um, that's the beauty of the program because we can help one another through our struggles. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for being on here. Um, it's funny how the readings and then out of nowhere, the sponsor pops in there with his comments and um, things come together. You know, things don't, things happen for a reason, you know, as far as the recovery end of it's concerned in my, in my eyes. Um, you know, I don't know how many times you guys have done these readings. And uh, read a just for today or re read something out of the big book and the readings like exactly what you're going through, uh, you know, during that day. It's, it's something that you're struggling with. Yeah. I mean, Addie said even Al-Anon, the program that she works, it's the same way. Um, there we go. See, now, now you're speaking Addie's terms right there. Garlic oil is amazing for ears. You should see the amount of oils and what what do we call these uh, essential oils that we have hanging on the wall over here um Addie is a natural freak um all about holistic health yeah she believes in holistic and eastern medicine herself so i feel like i'm living with the voodoo child um, because I use modern medicine and over-the-counter stuff. 
Um, that's where we different, but I have became more open-minded and willing, um, to try some of the oils and yes, some of them do work and they have worked for me. Um, what am I using right now on my jaw? Frankincense, uh, on my jaw. Um, and it's supposed to help with the swelling and the inflammation. Um, so that's what we're doing. Kind of got off topic, but that's what it's all about. Um, just participating and talking. I can come on here and talk and chat with you guys all night. Um, Saturday, 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 Saturday. I'm going to go ahead and plug it. What time did I set that up for Saturday? I don't know if I set it up at seven o'clock, 7 p.m. Eastern. Nikki R from Arkansas. Very strong woman in recovery. For all you women out there that are listening, um, do not miss this. You will beat yourself up if you do. Um, she's got an amazing story. I've heard her story before. She's been a huge part of my recovery and many others' recovery. Um, it's going to be a fun night. Um, there's a lot of recovery going on Saturday night. I'm not the only live stream. It's having somebody go on. Um, literally right after mine, my dude Phil from Against the Odds. Is having my dude Justin from Hope Shot on. I'm gonna plug theirs too because they plug mine just like they plug mine. Or yeah, you know, we we help one another out. That's what I'm saying. Um, and I'm like, I'm jumping off mine and going right to theirs. Um, it's gonna be an awesome night. There's a lot going on Saturday. Um, and then Monday, I'm gonna have my buddy Kevin from Idaho, originally from California. He's gonna be on Monday evening. That one's going to be a little later because of time differences and his work. But uh, I got a lot going on, guys. I promised you guys some speakers uh, the first of the year, and I'm bringing them. Um, enjoy your right. Joy's put in balance and comments. That's what I'm struggling with right now is finding a happy balance. Um, and that may not even be where you're going with it. Welcome, Lori, if you're in there. That's my uh, Texas chimp monk that I love to hear on Addie's phone almost nightly. Um, this woman has a beautiful voice and you guys don't understand. She uses a filter on, on, um, messenger. Um, and she sounds like a chipmunk. It's cute and funny, but I love hearing her real voice. And she still owes me a Chris Cornell song that I have not heard yet. Hint, hint. Um, my favorite Chris Cornell song is black hole sun so another hint i'm dropping hints lori you hearing them you catching them i hope so um i'd love to hear you sing oh yeah there we go good deal i appreciate you guys being on here seriously saturday night 7 p.m eastern 6 p.m central 4 p.m pacific uh 11, 12 midnight in the uk and I think if you're in Amsterdam, it's 1 a.m. It's so weird. That's what happens when you work or you help as a committee member. I'm not a committee member now, but in the past, I helped with a lot of NA programs worldwide. Uh, and Nikki's a big part of one. She's the founder of the Serenity Cafe, um, the NA Serenity Cafe. So she works personally in NA program. Um, so you may hear some NA reference. Um, Still an open fellowship here, guys. Recovery is recovery. Um, but her message will be a lot of experience, strength, and hope with the NA backing. Uh, just a heads up. Hope that doesn't deter anybody. It shouldn't. Um, participate in your recovery, guys, and stay positive. I love you guys. Thanks for being on here tonight. And hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to jump on here and, uh, go live for a little bit if I'm not working on my step work. I love you guys. We'll talk to you later. Wrong one. That's what happens when you fat thumb guys. <laughs> love you guys. See ya.